in our life. There is a hope and desire to be successful in it. What is the meaning of success? Success means realization of a dream or fulfillment of an objective which gives you smile in your face and contentment to heart. Everybody wants to be successful, whether you are a businessman, whether you are a professional, whether you are a student. But everybody is not able to get success. What for? There are few factors which give success. Those factors can be divided into groups. One group, those factors which are not within our control. And second, those factors which are within our control. Among the factors not in our control is time, place and opportunity. Time, place and opportunity, they play a very important role in success of our life. But they are not within our control. So whenever opportunity comes, you must see it and apply it for your life. And those which are under your control give you yourself, your physical and mental faculties. Physically, one should be fit because a person who is all in him cannot succeed in any of his objectives. Mentally, one should be sound, clear, wisdom, intelligence, and perseverance. You know what is perseverance? Perseverance is plodding. This means accept failures. If you don't accept failures, probably you will not be able to succeed. Therefore, friends, if you wish to succeed in life, everybody wants to succeed. Who doesn't want? Is there anyone who says that I don't want to succeed? Everybody. There are three or four cardinal factors. Try to implement it every day. One, iron determination. What you wish to do, it should be very strong. It's called iron determination. Second, Adamantine will, your will must be very strong. Second fact. Third, selfless, sustained efforts. Efforts must be selfless and it should be sustained for a long time. Fourth, very important, divine grace. Listen to me, friends, nothing happens under the sun without divine grace. Nothing moves without it. Please rear up yourself with this thought that everywhere is on heat grace. Nothing moves. Even a flower moves also, it is all in the way. And you know, when I say this way, in any society, there are three groups of people. Three groups of people. Every society has to any mark anyway. The first group, they decide to do a project, they want to do it. Then they discuss with others. Then see there are difficulties, impediments. They roll off. They don't proceed with the project. They are called permanent failures. Then the second group who decide to do something, take an object. Start doing the deal, proceed. Halfway, they see impediments, difficulties. Then they return back. Roll down their all important objectivity. They are called cowards. C-O-W-A-R-D-S. There is a third group who wish to start. Once decided, they continue, come what may. This is the wording that is given, come what may. So, it is only third group successful. Please try to understand it and implement it. And friends, when I say you should start with designation, there is a Sanskrit sloka, I know, which I have a problem. Sariram ka pape, karjan ka sape. Mind you, this should be your interpretation. Sariram ka pape, karjan ka sape. I am a drag, but I will let it out. The whole next whole sushti, the creation will move to you if you have that privilege. See our history, our mythology, our product, what it is. The creator lord in a in a hand, tip by hand, a pillar. These are not things to only see the history of material is a thing for you to practice. Second, efforts naturally should be there without efforts, you cannot succeed anywhere. But it must be sustained. And you will accept failures. A person who doesn't accept failures can never succeed in life. And as I said, more important is the divine grace. Divine grace means what? Everything must be silent. What will you do? Even if you do wrong things also, bring him to his knowledge. The punishment will be lessened. 
knowingly to do not do it also the punishment will be very high because it will create an experiment thing after all. There is nothing secret to be. You know, Sir Isaac Newton, he discovered the law of gravity. How he discovered it? He has mentioned in his biography, if you happen to read, please read it back. He says that every day, night time, I used to sit in my apple garden. And I used to see every day the apple is falling down. Nothing happened. Years passed. Every night I used to sit and sit. One day, suddenly some power gave me this idea. Why the apple is falling down? Why it is not going up? Then the law of gravity was discovered. And he mentioned it is the supernatural power that done it. Look to Einstein, the great scientist. He got Nobel Prize for one thing, that is E. E. D. M. C. Square. He struggled and struggled, he remained E. E. D. M. C. only. Every day, middle of the night, he used to struggle how to get himself, but he remained in After some time, early morning, one day, he has mentioned his father. That suddenly somebody said, You need his squad. And he met his squad, he got Nobel Prize. You know, Ramanuj, the great mathematician, Indian mathematician, whatever they Nasser Records, he used to try to solve a problem the whole night goes. He is not able to solve it. He slept. Morning he says, I dreamt and the problem solved. So friends, think that without a divine grace, nothing will proceed, nothing will succeed. If our block is oriented in that, if our thinking process starts from this, I tell you, I assure you, very often you will get success. Even if you get a failure also, you fail not to fail. That's the idea that you don't do it. After why you do this? Things? Why you wish to success? To make you happy. After all, our ultimate happiness. All our mythology, history, what he says, everything you do for your happiness why? But I tell you friends, money will not give you happiness. Happiness comes when you help the poor. Serve the sick, take care of the people like that. You see, joy and happiness are two different things. I'm sure if you know it's all right, please know it now. Say, for example, today you purchase one car or you uh, one new scooter or you purchase a house. How much excitement it is. You get enjoyed. You see, I'm very happy I got a new car. How long it lasts? Few days after, this interest develops, it becomes so. This is called joy. Then what is happiness? I am telling by my own experience, there was a crippled man, polio affected man. He had nobody. With surgery we have corrected, we have given advances. But he had no financial assistance to lead himself, to grow himself, to feed himself. One day I said, well, why don't we 